So we gotta discuss Celebration's Ultra Premium Collections getting a reprint next year. Now I know this is insane to think guys, but as you guys have already seen, we've had several Celebrations products already being delayed, whether it's that Charizard and Sylveon Premium Collection, to reports of Elite Trainer Boxes as well even getting that delay. And depending on which region you're in, with Pokemon International being majorly backed up, having huge delays in certain areas. After talking to several LLCs, distributors, eBay and Instagram sellers, there have been reports of ultra premium collections coming sometime next year. Whether this is from the Pokemon company having delays on already ultra premium collections and promising products to people down the line, or from being that top celebrations product that everyone has to get their hands on. And I'm sure guys, as you've seen, ultra premium collections, what, start at 150, 180, 200 a box? Now look Look at these prices, 350 if you're lucky, 400, even 500 on some of these guys. Now this could be game changing news guys, especially for that celebrations. Especially you've added in with the spicy news of Pokemon Japan announced they're going to be printing to demand with their newest products releasing, including that celebrations guys, that 25th anniversary. This is revolutionary guys, as this is going to deter scalpers, slippers, even them short term investors guys. And I think everyone's just happy to see. Pokemon making some changes, but it's got to be on everyone's mind. Could this come over to English? Could we see the English printing boxes to demand? In other words, how many orders are placed or how many boxes are going to be made? This would definitely be a big one changing up that whole Pokemon market guys and how people decide to buy their products, as well as potentially that repaint schedule of Pokemon guys. I mean, if there's enough products to go around on waves one, two, and three at release for those products, are they really going to look a year or two down the line like those Hidden Fates, Sun and Moon base set boxes to reprint like they have done. And honestly guys, either way with this news, can see ultra premium collection prices plummeting after the announcement of that wave two or three release of them collections. But hey, it's only a matter of time guys. And let's be real, this is the most highly demand celebrations product there is. With everyone wanting a piece of that, that golden metallic Pikachu or base set Charizard, their mass celebrations packs, that mixed in with the Crazy allocation numbers of seeing of people only getting one to two cases, four to eight boxes in total per store. Prices have gone insane. Going to that double to triple mark, guys. Question is, when they do reprint this, how heavy are those allocations going to be, guys? As already we've seen from Pokemon, Wave 1 tend to be the majority of allocations, even though those reprints in the future do tend to bring, you know, their mass boxes, like look at Hidden Fates and how many of them are on the market now. But I honestly don't think, guys, seeing how chunky their multiple premium collection is, how many unique items they got inside, that we're going to see a crazy reprint. Maybe sure, we'll see some, you know, stores in the future get a couple more cases. And prices will dip in turn, but I don't think it's going to be anything crazy, guys. And like we'll see with that Hidden Fates, we'll see prices slowly stabilize at a certain point, you know, possibly that 250, 200 mark or so, before they start creeping right back up. Now the question is, should you guys be buying any more, or if you haven't already bought some, buying any now, or waiting for that future, you know, reprint way? And I gotta say, if you guys are scared of the possibility of no reprints and these prices continuing to go crazier. If you do see one pop up on the market, you know, for that 300 or so range, I would recommend to just grab one, guys, for that collection. You know, just keep one sealed away. But don't go crazy, guys. Don't go looking for cases and multiple, especially at them insane prices, guys. Come on, $500 of premium collection? Because if and when we do see them reprinted next year, guys, we're going to see them readily available again and way cheaper, guys. So if you are maybe looking to buy that case quantity, maybe I would wait until that reprint coming, but hey. But hey, guys, click here to watch this. Or else we may have to sell Django to buy that next Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh set.